Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about the common side effects of Ozempic in injections, as well as how can some supplements help to prevent those side effects, and list out a few of some popular supplements that help to alleviate the side effects, and then of course, how do you incorporate those into your daily routine. But first, my name is Marcy Vasky, and I'm a licensed nutritionist with Fluso Nutrients. And at Fluso Nutrients, we work very hard to help educate you on specific supplements that can help many things, including your gut, your brain health, and using those to really give you the best life. Now, of course, making sure that you talk to a practitioner who is supplement literate can be helpful in deciding on what to take. And if you are taking certain medications or supplements, you want to make sure that there's no contraindications going on. So let's find out today what kind of supplements can help with any possible side effects from an Ozempic injections. Now first, what are uh, Ozempic injections? And Ozempic is a GLP-1 and there are many on the market today, different kinds of GLP-1s that typically are used for people who are struggling with type 2 diabetes although they have been used more frequently lately for people who are looking for weight loss and blood sugar management. And so along with these injections that are usually taken weekly, they help to stimulate the insulin production within your body, helping to manage blood sugar and promote weight loss. And sometimes by doing this, there can be some side effects. Now along with doing Ozempic injections, people have struggled with side effects and one of those is gastrointestinal issues. So things that happen may be nausea, vomiting, constipation, and even diarrhea. Also, there's appetite changes. Because of the way that GLP-1 works in our body, it decreases our appetite, leading to not feeling hungry very often and sometimes not getting in enough food as necessary for your body to sustain wellness. Now, of course, because Ozempic and other GLP-1s are injections, some people do experience um, redness or swelling at the injection site. And two other common side effects are fatigue and dizziness with taking or with doing the injections, um, tiredness, the lightheadedness due to a lot of times just not consuming enough food, and of course just that faintness because of the same thing, just not getting enough of the nutrition that's necessary, as well as headaches. Headaches are also common with Ozempic injections and other GLP ones that can lead to even migraines. And so you can see by to helping yourself stabilize blood sugar and keep yourself healthy by using injections, there's a lot of side effects and a lot to consider when deciding to do so. So let's understand the impact of side effects on, our pa on patients. And as the side effects associated with Ozempic are very common with gastrointestinal issues. So things like nausea, vomiting, constipation, acid reflux, and also you can become dehydrated because of, you're not t intaking enough fluid or intaking food. And you may see a great weight loss, which can can be good for some people for sure, but if it's too fast, is that healthy? And also, in, patients may even experience just kind of a mental burden, feeling more anxious or even depressed when dealing with some of these symptoms, as well as when we're not intaking enough nutrition, if your appetite has been compromised, your mental health is also going to be compromised. So how does, how can supplements manage any kind of side effect that you may experience from Ozempic? And because we kind of talked through what those side effects are, I'm going to discuss what are the most popular supplements to help support any side effects or symptoms you may be experiencing. 
Now the first one on the list of supplements is digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes will help to break down your food better. So a lot of times when you are taking a GLP-1, the gut becomes a lot more sluggish. And due to that, this is where you can feel some of this acid reflux or even heartburn. And so by using a digestive enzyme, you can help to support that digestion of the food that you are intaking, relieving reflux, and nausea or heartburn. Another good one to help support these symptoms and specifically the nausea is ginger. Ginger is a herb or a root that helps to reduce nausea. So you can find ginger supplements. You, there are even little ginger chews that have helped people just reduce that nauseous feeling. Another great supplement that helps to reduce dizziness and faintness while using Ozempic is, even, is the vitamin B6. And vitamin B6 can really reduce these symptoms and it can also be supportive for nausea. Another positive supplement here is magnesium. And magnesium, or specifically magnesium citrate. If you're struggling with constipation while on the injections, Take, simply taking some magnesium citrate may give you enough support to help ha to keep your bowels moving properly. And lastly, there's omega-3 fish oil. And omega-3s are amazing for bringing down inflammation in our body, as well as just supporting our overall well-being. Now, there has been some research and studies completed on supplements that are supportive for ozempic side effects. And the one, the supplements I listed above have been researched. And number one, just helping support digestion with a way of digestive enzymes, supporting nausea or dizziness and faintness with either um, the B6 is going to be really helpful. Um, and as well as even taking ginger for nausea. So through these studies we can be confident that the supplements can be really helpful. And also just trying them yourself. Of course studies don't tell us everything. They give us information and what may work, but what works for one person may not work for another. So using the information I provided with the supplements we chatted about, depending on your symptom, choose one and see how it helps you. So by choosing one, how can you really incorporate it into your lifestyle? And I think it all depends obviously on what kind of symptoms you're having. If you're have, struggling with more reflux or GERD, what you're going to want to do is increase or start a digestive enzyme. And you can easily start with just doing one enzyme per meal. If you need more support, you can go to two enzymes. That's also very helpful. Incorporating ginger into your daily plan. Ginger again is helpful for nausea and so and even reflux so you can use it for both those things. Um, if you're waking up feeling nauseous go ahead and chew a little bit of ginger, a ginger chew or even taking a supplement form of ginger mint in the way of a capsule. Um, you can even sip on ginger tea which may be helpful throughout the day if you're always just kind of feeling a little bit off. When it comes to vitamin B6, that can be taken in the morning to help support any nausea or dizziness. Um, that's going to be just coming in a tiny tablet, um, which you can easily take and see how that supports those symptoms. And of course, if you're struggling with constipation, doing magnesium citrate at night is going to be a, your best option there. Um, you're going to want to take a magnesium powder or even a magnesium citrate liquid. Those seem to be more bioavailable and in my clinical practice, I see that that works better than in capsule form. And of course, with omega-3s, you can take those uh, with food. Uh, that's going to be the best time to do so. Probably starting around 3,000 milligrams a day. That's a nice maintenance dose. And they usually come in 1,000s, sort of depending on how big of or potency you get with your omega-3s. But you can take one with each meal, or you can take two in the morning, one at night, however it works out best for you. Now, of course, using supplements is going to be a nice tool in your toolbox, but you can also do other lifestyle things to help with your side effects. 
if you're experiencing them. And one would just be speaking with your practitioner and maybe adjusting the dosage. Um, obviously, that's going to be a good conversation for them. Also, just the timing of when you do the injection. Sometimes people feel better doing it at night versus the morning, but again, we're all very different and something you should talk to your prescribing practitioner about. And some lifestyle things such as stay, stay hydrated, not dehydrated, stay hydrated, which will help all symptoms. When our body feels like it has enough water, enough hydration happening, we oftentimes just feel better in general. And also making sure your stress levels are reduced or at least managed. And of course, get some good sleep. Sleep is going to always be helpful with any symptoms we have. Resting and letting your body heal and doing the work that it needs to do during that restful time. So while Ozempic injections are kind of all the rage, including all the other GLP ones right now, just be a mindful of possible side effects. It, they don't happen to everybody for sure, but if you are someone out there struggling with them, please take note and you know maybe try some of the supplements I talked about earlier. You can find all of those supplements on our website at flusonutrients.com where you can easily order and they'll come right to your house. So it's super simple and, and in the long run, very beneficial. So thanks for watching today.